Start it with your chest. More like that. This is so much this is so much better. You've got to keep keeping a really good connection. I'd like to see if you can maintain a connection in your end, because you, you do break you separate at the end. You kinda of have a break. You kinda of have and then you and then you kinda of let it break loose. As opposed to keeping these down on your chest, even here. Uh, it hits you ways to the yellow side. That'll force something. It's purely a punch. It's purely a half swing. You almost want to, and you probably did on that one. You almost, you'll know by how it feels. Man, that's just dead on line. Right. Even before you look, you just kind of know it. And I want you to swing. I want you to feel it before you see it. I think a little bit of this is coming back. In. That's what I was. I saw over there. That you had a little bit of flipping. And so you want to feel like that handle leads the face. body has to move the club out your hand. Right. Good. Because it really requires this this here to be back, not here. It's almost like you're coming through with the heel of your right hand. Yeah, now that we work on that, remember that mm -hmm. last time we did that, it helped my direction a lot. You, you almost want to feel like you're hitting it with the heel. And not throwing that through. That's the one I want right there. That might have been the best one I wanted to see. Oh, that was pure. Basically, you want to... This is going to be a whole very extreme... I'm going to look at you. You want to be able to... Let your eyes look here. That move is assembling force to create ball speed and to create eight more yards of distance. You would have to add a definitive additional core movement that you could really feel different. You could feel an eight yard difference if that's the way you get your distance from the shot. Right. But if you have a little bit of this going on, like eight yards and, and no eight yards, you can't hardly tell them apart. So you're gonna you're not always you're gonna sometimes get the wrong one. So you really want to try to get these shorter numbers with moving parts where the memory of how it feels, of the force that it creates, the, the method of movement that creates that force, there's a you can actually feel the difference of eight yards. You had that little flip, you can, you can give yourself 12 yards when you weren't trying to. You didn't want it. <laughs> it's hard to give yourself 12 yards accidentally when you're doing it this one. Right. Maybe that's a better way to think about it. Go in a hole. Closer to what you want to feel. Because yeah. the first time I did, well, after you said 35% hips, I did that, but then my hands kind of just came and flipped with it. That time I uh, put the hips and then the feeling of the wedge together and was holding through it. Yeah. Yeah, it's working for you. Don't pile on. That's, that, that image is working for you. Of what we're wanting. Hips get fancy. 
This is this is what you need to practice now. This is much tighter. and freezing that. The ball just get in the way. You're always not even seeing the ball. Just that hard? Just that hard. But I want you to hold that pin and see if it looks just like you did without a ball. The ball just going to get in the way. Expand it slightly. Same shape, but just going to be slightly more, slightly bigger backswing. And only it could be slightly bigger follow through, but not a lot. Good. I like the back foot. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Very connected. Good face. Very good thing. You feel like that was a good backswing? Backswing. You feel like you did this more on that one? It definitely stayed left more. Yeah. The, the wrist and everything else felt what we were. Everything I liked everything about that. More like that. That was a better flow, it just didn't have the line. I didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah, you may you, you may have built a faster you're squaring it may better with your body now. Yeah. What was that? Better? Not as bad of a block, but it was still a So and and we're the block is a label for face. So the face what, what would you say that was four or five? Degrees? All right. I, now that I've got this perspective, I want you to move the ball up. One ball. Move it up one ball. Now, the, it's, it's uh, is it like a 5-5? Five, five? It's just straight? It's like a 5, 3.5, So it's a fade. A fade. push fade. Yeah, that's that's not a five. That is a a two minus two. I think it's a path issue, at least from that swing. That's the first swing I've swing, seen back here. That's what a lot of them have been doing on the course. I think it's a path issue more than a face issue. I don't. If 
that was not a five. That first 30 feet was a two, which is a pretty good face if you have a five path. Right, but I've never had a big path before. Ever. That's right. So I want you to think on this swing, I want you to feel like you're going to have a, what I call an early turn. You're, you're just going to turn from the get-go, a really early turn. I don't know what that creates in your geometry, but make that a thought. What, did it pull hook it? Yeah. Well, difference, we know it changed something. <laughs> that was weird. I was expecting a slightly less dramatic of a difference. Keep working with that same, I don't know what the right phrase to give you. That's all I've got is words. I'm trying to get the path out. That's a good ball, isn't it? So there's, I think what I've been seeing all morning is swaying. Yeah. And I think it's, I think, and that you can get away with it a little bit with the shorter clubs, but you can't get away with this club. You just, because you're just wiping, you're just wiping the ball because of your path. You're not going to give it a compressive inside it. You've got to really turn. Stay on that left side. Beautiful. This is dead straight. Yeah. Now you got to capture this feeling, your back, your takeaway feeling, because that's what you, you don't do enough consistently. You don't, you don't own, you evidently you don't own it. So you're gonna have to. That's your swing thought. You may still miss some, but you almost guarantee a miss if you don't get that first takeaway right. And that dead middle, so your takeaway has got to be just a pure turn, no sway. It's a, a little, it's a stable axis off t pure turn around the left side. It's not just a turn. It's, a, it's where you're turning. Release that right hip. That'll work. You almost thought you was going to be one of those pushes again, didn't you? Definitely changing a lot. Yeah. So there's more of the path issue than a face issue. Before, I mean, I couldn't, I didn't realize what I was doing before, like when I was playing. Please, now you know what to work on. Now I can feel it. I, I want that first 10 inches of takeaway to be a little smoother, a little slower. Yeah. Control that first 10 inches, then trust the rest. But you've got to have that takeaway, not get any, an ounce of movement to your right foot. You're going to still have a few of those, but you're in the right ballpark now. That's a better miss than what yeah. I You released your... And here you're going to have to release your hands like you did on that one. That one you look like you released your hands a little bit better. You don't want too much of this. Right. You know, that wedge, that wedge stuff. Did you get that on camera? I did. stable and learn to swing around it so that the, where you want the impact to be is right there every time. See, I want that to be your miss. If you're playing a draw, you believe it, it you're gonna give you're gonna aim right side of center. Correct? That's true, yeah, okay. So the block is definitely gonna <laughs> you only got you know, 30% of a fairway to, to go to the right end, where you've got 70% of a fairway to go to the left end. Is that a push? Not a little bit. Okay. Taking it in all helps you stabilize the circle. That'll work. Amazing how much that makes a difference just by weight transfer. Mm -hmm.